Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video I'll be covering one of the important tools that I recently discovered which is named as Colink Finder. So the main advantage of this tool is you can find out the URLs as well as JavaScript endpoints uh, within the source code of the URL that you have provided. So first of all, this is the repository and you can find the repository in the link in the uh, repository link in the description below or I'll tag it in the I'll pin it in the comment section. You can find it from wherever you're comfortable with. And uh, this is this is written as the name suggests. This is written in Go language, so so make you need to have Go language, and also you can run this on Windows as well. I tried it on Windows. You can run it on Ubuntu or anything. Make sure you have a Go language. Uh, installing Go language on Windows is very easy. You can just run an executable, and it is going to be done. And also, if you want to uh, uh, install it on Linux, it is some. It's not too straightforward. You need to do some stuff. Like you can do apt install, but it is going to install the older version of Golang. So it is always better to have the latest version of Golang. Which so I already made a video on that. So you can go and check this video. I leave the link in the description below. So it will. It is very easy process, and it will be very uh, simple as well. So first of all, uh, let's discuss and also all the credit goes to the developer. So I uh, recently discovered this tool and I was able to automate using this tool and uh, uh, and I found some very good endpoints. Uh, so we'll be covering that. So first of all, let's install this tool. So you can scroll down up a little bit. So after installing of Go, just copy this URL and I'm going to show this on my uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, so just paste it. You don't need to have sudo or anything. Just paste it. That's it. it is going to install some packages or some requirements now you can go to go okay and bin uh, there you'll find this particular uh, executable so if you want you can transfer it to user bin so that you can access it from anywhere okay so it's fine or you can add this go bin to the path and you can access this go link go link finder from anywhere and anywhere so let's do go finder uh, we'll do slash go finder and hyphen hyphen here this is the first option we always run so this is very simple tool and also very effective as well so uh, you just need to provide d so just provide the url so this is my uh, website that i recently uh, started building on and uh, you can expect blogs on this website as well so i'll be uh, mentioning you when i upload any blogs so so uh, make sure you are following me on my Twitter and LinkedIn so you can get updates on the content that I'm going to post. So just hit enter, just the domain and stuff and you can see it finds some several endpoints. It's not only JavaScript endpoint, it also finds the URLs. Like the, basically what this is doing is like this is doing some regics. Okay, it is going through the source code and it is trying to find out all the URLs. Okay, you can see it found out my LinkedIn because I added those into my website. Okay, so if, uh, I'll show this website. So this is the website here. So what it is doing is like it's just going to the source code. Okay. Uh, and it's trying to find out the URLs using some sort of regex or sort of thing. If you want, you can develop on your own, but this is very fast. So that's the reason I'm trying to cover. And uh, the important thing is like you can even find out the JavaScript files. So, so the reason why many people go bonkers when they hear JavaScript files in bug bounty is like JavaScript files, most of the time they contain API keys. So I also found one of uh, sensitive information in the JavaScript file, but it is, uh, you know, it's a duplicate, but still it is a valid bug. So you can just always go through that. And also it is also very good uh, tool in order to do some basic information. For example, you can see uh, it, it contains some sort of you know uh, urls related to the target or a person and also you can see some locations as well so tags archives about so it is even doing some recon over here and also there is something like jkill rb so if you dig deep into that if you dig deep into the website you can almost say that it is made using jkill so it is a uh, some sort of a framework which you can easily implement okay so that is it and uh, and also some javascript files as well this is not related to this domain it may be something it, you can see it is from ja, uh, a bootstrap related thing so that's fine and uh, this is a very cool website uh, this is very cool tool okay so just a minute so like this uh, it doesn't uh, if you want, if you find anything else for example there is a tags location so you can go to the tags tab and you can try to find out some more information so one automation trick that i can give you is like after going through the way back URLs tool, you'll find out some couple of uh, URLs. So you can pass them 
you know you can automate them using a bash using some if condition or some loop and then you can throw that all of them into this tool and it will try to find out some information then you can add some sort of you know uh, uh for example you can just grab it out so for example if there's something like api okay so you can see there were some few api related urls but these are not that useful as these are related to the google apis and you can use grep in order to find out a lot of stuff you can filter out the javascript files you can filter out some images and uh, there is a lot of functionality that you can do with this tool okay so for example you can go to find out some sort of keywords okay so every there were some sensitive keywords like dot kit some sort of stuff you can go and find them out so that is it guys like how you can use this tool and let me know if you want me to cover the section where I will show you how you can automate all these recon tools into a ba single bash script and you can get your outcome very simply. So do let me know in the comment section and if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in this bug bounty and penetration testing sort of stuff. This is Satvik signing off I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.